Rub up your engines. Alex Hamden says, Scotty, what do you recommend? Toyota Land Cruiser 2000, 2008, a Range Rover Classic 90s or 80s. Okay, well, the Land Cruisers, they, they last longer. They hold up. The parts are cheaper on them than on the Range Rovers. The real early Rovers, when you're talking about the four-cylinder ones, those were extremely reliable. The Rovers were an English copy of the American Jeep from World War II. They took them apart, and after World War II, they just started, they started over the little bitty ones. And they were basically a British copy, and they were reliable, not powerful, but they were reliable. Farmers loved them. They go through the mud and dirt and stuff. But as they got bigger, they got more and more unreliable. Early, they used to have Buick V8 engines in them, and they just started to have problems as they got bigger and bigger. And now, I mean, they're owned by Tata, the, uh, the Indian company. Wouldn't wish one of my worst enemies, really. Or maybe I would. <laughs> Andrew Thiessen says, Scott, a big fan from Toronto. Does gasoline shrink in extreme cold? Notice my gas gauge goes up when the temperature goes up. Well, it does a little bit, yeah. And I mean, if you got like a 20-gallon gas tank and it gets really cold, it'll shrink a little. I mean, your gas gauge shouldn't change all that much. Most of the time, if you have a problem with the gas gauge moving up a whole bunch in weather, it's an electronic problem. If you find it goes up and down a little, sure, it'll expand, it'll contract, just like your coolant expands and contracts as it gets hot. Freddie says, Scotty, my 04 Honda CRV water pump should be replaced. Should I get rid of the car? No, change it. It's not that's an easy job. They're not that complicated on those cars. Change the water pump and use an OEM one. They last a lot longer and put in new coolant. Use the OAT organic acid technology coolant. You can use any long life one like Prestone or whatever. It'll say long life antifreeze compatible with all cars. No, don't get rid of that car. Those are great cars. They can last a really long time. Don't get rid of it for just a water pump. It's not that big of a deal on one of those things. Mark Kusian says, Scotty, I got an 04 Nissan 350Z. I have this issue. My car feels sluggish and hesitant. I Clean the math and throttle body, and it was great. Now, but after a month, it starts to be in sluggish again. Okay, if it was great after you did that cleaning, I would say I just get another math sensor. Nissans eat up math sensors and go ahead and get a new one. That's what I'd say. You cleaned it, and you know, you can clean it, but in a month by itself. It's not going to get dirty. It shouldn't affect it. But if it's worn, it will do that. So get another MAF sensor. If it really ran great after that first cleaning, just go and buy another MAF sensor. And my advice is get a good scan tool. You can get one for like 60 bucks that'll read MAF sensor data. And when you put a new one in, read that MAF sensor data and record it. Put it on your computer as a graph. And then every once in a while, you can check it to see if it's still working right. Then you'll know how your car works. Now, I have to do that as a mechanic, but I have to do it for hundreds of different kinds of cars. Cars. So it's a real pain in the butt having all this data and having an audience, but you only have one car, so get that data yourself, then you'll know what's good and what's bad. Maria D'Alessio says, what do you think about a 2017 Ford Escape? I got customers with Ford Escapes, and they're pretty happy with the things. They got a lot of mileage out of them. And they work pretty good. If you're talking about something like a Ford Escape, there are a zillion SUVs out there. Decide how long you're going to drive it. What do you want out of it? Do you want all-wheel drive? Do you want two-wheel drive? How much money are you going to pay? Because it's a used one. And factor all that in. You know, personally, if I was getting an SUV, I'd get a Toyota or a Lexus SUV. They'd run forever, but I'm not a big SUV fan. So, But if you want a medium price one like that, eh? Kevin Stewart says, synthetic versus real leather. What should I get? Well, I basically say real leather if you're the type of guy that takes care of it. My wife's got a 02 Lexus ES 300. Everything's leather. Beautiful cream colored leather. Those seats are still immaculate and they're 17 years old, but I take care of them. I use this English company's cleaner and preservative where you clean them all and then you put the preservative on. And they still are fantastic. Synthetic, you know, it's synthetic. Uh, it doesn't feel as well. It actually will crack a lot of times earlier than the leather will. Now, if you're talking about just regular seats, not synthetic leather, but cloth seats, well, if you want to take care of them and clean them, of course, they can last quite some time in and of themselves, and there's less maintenance involved. Synthetic leather, really, it won't last as long as the real leather if you take care of it. you got to make sure that you take care of it. That's the thing. A lot of people don't take care of them at all. And then in the hot sun, and if you live up north, the cold winter, where they get cold and they crack, yeah, you know, if you live up north where it's really cold, a lot of times you're just better off with the cloth seats. They're made to handle the temperature better than real leather or synthetic leather. 
So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.